What's going on guys, we are back with episode 6 of my Feed the Beast Machine tutorial series and today we're going to be going over the Industrial Electrolyzer. So, this is how you make the Industrial Electrolyzer. It takes 4 refined iron, 1 in each corner, 2 advanced circuits, 1 on the left and 1 on the right of the very center. It takes an electrolyzer in the very center, an extractor in the center top, and a magnetizer in the bottom center. So. The industrial electrolyzer, unlike most of the things that I've already showed you, is not a multi-block build. You can see this block is all it needs, it doesn't have a UI showing how to make it, and it's pretty essential when it comes to machinery if you're into that stuff. I know some people may start out with other stuff, but this is probably one of the machines that you're going to get earlier on. And really all it takes to run is whatever you want to put in it and cells. So right here I just have bauxite as an example and empty cells and I'm going to show you how you can automate this. So the cells are going to be input through the bottom of the industrial electrolyzer and they will go into this right here. Yep, there goes the cells. And that's where the cells obviously are always going to go. And then whatever you want to have electrolyzed is going to go in the top. And that will go into this, if you look, it's a little lightning bolt. It's getting electrolyzed. It'll go in there. And bauxite actually does have a recipe, but it does not have sufficient energy because there's no energy going through it. And if there was, it would output stuff right into the top here, and then it could get pulled out any of the other sides. So now if we come over here, I'll show you guys how to power the industrial electrolyzer. I have my same setup as always. I have three ultimate hybrids going to an MFSU. They're powering that, and that is going into a medium voltage because the industrial electrolyzer takes 128 EU per tick any more than that, and it'll blow up any less, and it won't work. So now I have some more empty cells in bauxite, and we're just going to manually put these in here. I'm going to show you guys how it works. So you can see there it took 12 bauxite and 8 empty cells, and it does take a little bit to work, but it's going. And eventually it will finish, I'll put a recipe into the top, and if we really wanted to, we could pump it out the top. So guys, all in all, the industrial electrolyzer is a really important machine that you guys are going to want to have probably around um, mid-game when you're playing because it can replace the industrial centrifuge when it comes to certain things such as getting silicone cells for solar panels, which I'm sure you guys are probably using this for because that's what I used it for. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to rate it and be sure to subscribe as I have new tutorials coming out almost every day. And also be sure to check back later if you're curious about the new fusion reactor as I'll be working hard to get a new tutorial out for that so that you guys can update and have some fun with that. So be sure to post in the comments if you have anything that you want me to do next episode. If not, we'll see what I'm going to do. I actually don't know yet. Only time will tell. See you guys later.